Hey everybody, welcome to Ikebukuro Station here in Tokyo. This is going to be an adventure where we're walking from right here at this intersection. There's a link in the description. It'll take you to the Google Maps to tell you where I am and where we're starting. And then we're going to be heading down the street. Now, for a lot of people coming to Tokyo for the first time, this is one of the neighborhoods that is high on the list of places to visit. And this should give you a pretty good overview of what you will find here. We're going to be focusing on this side of the station, the Seibu side. I think this is Nishiguchi. And I am me. I'm John. How you doing? Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Uh, I I don't. I haven't been here for a couple of years. I don't remember. No, I, I think it was last year. I might have come here once to talk about hotels and staying here. But this is a place I used to work at about 15 years ago on the other side, teaching English. And uh, it, it's a neighborhood that's very well known for having a lot of students because there's so many universities around this area. It's got a really cool vibe to it. It's younger, it's a little bit cheaper than Shinjuku uh, than, and Shibuya, I think. And it's more laid back. It's also a portal that'll take you up to Saitama. And uh, you get a lot of people from there coming to visit this area. This is where I am. You can see just along the Yamanote line from Shibuya, Shinjuku, Harajuku, Shinjuku, and then eventually get to Ikebukuro. Those are the major stations on this side of the city. So let's go in here and take a look. Uh, Zooming in right now. The Imperial Palace is in the center there. This is Toshima Ward, which is the, the, um, one of the 23 wards that make up the cities within Tokyo's metropolitan area. Tokyo's not actually a city like London is. Tokyo is, is a, a metropolitan area. It's something, it's like a, a state. It's a special city state. So it's not really the same kind of a city within Within Tokyo are 23 cities. Toshima is one of them. There's the Seibu department store, which uh, used to be the biggest department store in the world. It's massive in there, easy to get lost, even underground. And you can see the Sunshine 60 building, which used to be Tokyo's tallest building, I believe. And that's where I am, that blue mark at that intersection, between the station and the entertainment stuff. And we're going to be walking down this street. So let's do that. <laughs> let's do that right now. All right, good introduction. Now, the signal is not so strong in this area, so I do apologize in advance if, if it does. Just bear with me, and if you're watching the playback, it might skip around a little bit. But you can see this intersection is a, um, you could go wrong here. If you take a left, don't worry, you, you'll get over. You, you'll see when we cross the street, there's lots of stores department stores shops over to the left as well but we're gonna go straight down uh, this because this is a well I, I don't to be perfectly honest I don't know how it's changed so I'm looking forward to experiences this with you I lost my voice shouting at the naked man festival two days ago I'm still recovering my body is in, is in pain <laughs> a little bit you can see if you walk straight you'll get to I, I believe it's a big camera if it's still there there's a, a, a big Don Quixote. Very colorful, don't you think? Thank you, UFO Bob is in the house moderating. Here's a blood drive going on. People trying to get you to donate, to help out. Interesting, so there's this Hello Kitty shop. I, I can't remember what was here and what wasn't. I think that Lofteria was here. Whenever I walk around, I'm, I'm struck by what has changed in the city of Tokyo. Everything is always changing. This is why it's worth revisiting a place. Oh, this is, it's not just Hello Kitty stuff. It looks like it's uh, like Sanrio stuff. Shakey's Pizza. This is where kids go because it's cheap and it's pizza. Let's see, let's see what kind of deals they got at Shakey's Pizza. Oh my gosh. This is an institution. So it's a buff pizza buffet with french fries, pasta, and pizza for 2,100 yen, or that's $15, $14 maybe. Kids under kids uh, four to elementary are 12.50, and then junior high school kids are, are 19.50. That is dirt cheap. And a lunchtime buffet is 16.80. What? That's like 10 bucks for all you can eat pizza at Shakey's. Respect. Although I. Looks like they upgraded their pizza. That looks a lot better than the garbage that they, I shouldn't say, than the, the, the 
<coughs> pizza that they had before. <laughs> Also, when you do come to this area, don't forget to look up because a lot of stuff will be on the third, fourth, fifth floors sometimes. Things that you might be interested in, you don't find it right away. Wow. It's still entertaining. It's not quite as busy. I guess uh, kids are still in school. Oh, that has changed right off the bat. Here you go. Sega World is gone and uh, the more sophisticated Gigo, which is uh, the company that took over a lot of the game centers. There's another Gigo down the street. We'll walk over there. This one looks like it's more uh, UFO catchers and gotcha palm. Maybe we can, we can even walk in a little bit. Wow. This is really... Oh, it's a baby star, right? Dried ramen. It's kind of fun, just the way that they've, they've uh, made a presentation of everything. It's kind of fun. Wow. Look, you got cup noodles as well. That's kind of fun. Here's smaller ones. Oh look, they got like these little dry mold. I should, Ellis, I should try to get you one. And look, there's like a, a Hinamatsuri uh, Dolls Festival was yesterday, kind of related to that. That's so cool. Interesting. A lot of game centers. There's one across here, Adora's. Again, on the first floor, usually upstairs they'll have arcade games, so if you don't see what you're looking for on the first floor, they've moved a lot of those arcade games up to the second and the third floors. Although, this Gigo looks weird. It looks like there's some sort of restaurant up there. Right? People are eating on the, on the second floor of the Gigo. So if you're curious, wander in there, take a look. Oh, this is an institution as well. Round one. I, was this here before? I can't remember. I never went into here, but they, they've got karaoke. They've got like batting cages, bowling alleys, all sorts of amusement. The blacklight bowling is always fun. I guess that's what the blue one is right there. And they have video games as well. It's the kind of place where you, want, you come with a bunch of friends and, and if you're college kids, that's what you do. You hang out with, with your friends and, and this is one of those streets that is just, a, as I said, it's an institution. It's been around forever. I actually came here um, to this area because I uh, did the final scene, the final, final scene. Oh my gosh, this has been a, a marathon of the uh, uh, John Manjiro story. I think it's a Zoshigaya Cemetery, which is near here, and that's a John Nak uh, Nakahama John Manjiro's final resting spot right there. The kanji for Nakahama is different than in the village. I see he, he became a samurai and was buried in this cemetery. I, I think during World War II there was a, um, it was a sort of destroyed and then put back together. A lot of famous people in here, and uh, this is the final scene. I guess his, his resting place seemed to be the, the place to end it. It's historical, you know? It's a lot of history here. And I walked from here, uh, you can see the Sunshine 60 building in the distance. And here we are in the center of entertainment. This, of course, did not exist when Manjiro was uh, alive. He died uh, at the, uh, was it the end of the 19th century? That's a big Uniqlo. It's a big Matsumoto Kyoshi. Of course, you can get your uh, um, eye drops and masks and tissues and all sorts of cosmetics in there as well. Namco, that's another game center. Wow! Nitori, which is a home furnishing store, which is always interesting to walk in there. I get my uh, uh, bedding for my futon in there and uh, 
or futon as Americans say it, futon is the Japanese way. So I get my stuff in there, tables, and you know, it's a little bit cheaper. Then Ikea or Ikea, as the Americans say, like if I don't say it the American way, half the people are like, what? Oh, there's some people in cosplay there. Or is that how they normally dress? I'm always kind of curious. But this is a, uh, what is this here? Hold on. This looks like a competitor to Matsumoto Kyoshi, kind of another drugstore. And then there's another Gigo. I guess this used to be Sega. Crane games on the first, second, and a cafe on the fourth, uh, second and third floor, and then a cafe up above. Like, I, I don't know how the business has evolved, but the game centers, the arcade games, the cons console games have really put them out of business because you can do this stuff at home. And the pandemic, whatever, if there was a final coffin, nail in the coffin, it was the pandemic that really did in the uh, game centers here because you guys weren't coming. A lot of foreign tourists just weren't coming to Ikebukuro. This is a massive Nitori. They seem to have taken over the Sunshine City entrance. I think those used to be Tokyo Hands or something. Tokyo Hands, you remember that? I think it's gone. It just became the Nitori, which is, you know, I, I do like going in there and just looking around. You find some Japanese, very uh, uh, tatami pillows and things like this that you might want to take back as gifts. Can you bring tatami home? I think so. Well, Gigo really owns this town. TGI Fridays, what? Like, I'm, I don't know if I'm ever gonna go back in there. I had maybe the worst meal that I had in Japan about a year and a half ago at a TGI Fridays. Everything was just stale, the meat, the buns, the bathrooms weren't clean. This is a Tokyo Disneyland. I think Fridays in general, the chain has had some trouble, which makes me sad, but... I think tourists will stop in there. Those that are tired of sushi and onigiri and, and stuff like that, they're just like, hey, I just want a burger. It's, it's kind of a neat stop in. There's a Hard Rock Cafe. That's when, when I first came to Japan. When I came to Japan in 98, 1998, 26 years ago about now, there, if you got sick of Japanese food, you didn't have a lot of options. You could make spaghetti. I learned how to make pizza with yeast and flour and, and hand kneading it. And I would make my own pizza, have pizza parties. That was a skill I made sure I learned before I left for Japan because it was like $50 for a Domino's pizza and it really wasn't very good because the yen was, was uh, it got pretty strong for a while. Like 5,000 yen for a pizza. What? What? So now, the other option we had was McDonald's, eh. And then you had Hard Rock Cafe for like the dining experience in Nagoya, and that was it. So this is that hot sauce that a lot of people like, right? What is it called? Sriracha. It's interesting, 700 yen from a vending machine. I guess if you have some street food, you need, you're like, wait, I'm, uh, it's not spicy. Oh, look, dude, let's get some spicy sauce. Seems to be the way to go. This one is dashi. What? So you can get some soup in there. Now tourists have been known to buy this and try to drink it, so I please don't. It's for cooking, which is weird that they put it there, but there you go. I smell some something caramel-y. It smells like Tokyo Disneyland. It smells like that sweet po caramel popcorn. <laughs> Give you an idea of what the streets of Ikebukuro smells like. That's a lot better than Shinjuku and Shibuya where I smell like trash and human pee sometimes <laughs> it's the those aren't the same those aren't are the least oh that's where the popcorn i think has come from i don't think that they're the cleanest places in tokyo which is why when you ask me where to stay i i never recommend shinjuku or shibuya unless you're young and you're looking for like a capsule hotel or you, you're literally going there just to drink and to be entertained i don't recommend it as a tourist um and look that's why when people ask me, where do you recommend? Where do you recommend? I, I will often, I often, I'm hesitant to give any recommendations on where to stay. This is a good place. The reason why is because everybody's different. Everybody has different purposes. I don't know who you are. I don't know what your budget is. Look, if you're going to ask me, I would say stay in, you know, Asakusa Bashi or Asakusa, Asakusa, 
You could stay in the more traditional areas, up in the a uh, little bit cheaper. Ryogoku is in, not a bad place if you're looking for a budget because it's within striking distance of everything off of the the, uh, the Oedo line. I see, hey, St. Michael Sassano is in the house. Aloha, John. I love you. Give a kudos. Seeing it now makes me wish I was there walking around with you. I know. Come on. Get on a flight. That's a Bradshaw Studios here. It's great to see you. And I see Jared. Aloha, Jared. We got, uh, we got our Hawaiian family in the house here. We'll be in Japan in two weeks. What? You got that look fun. We'll be in Yuzawa soon. Wow. Well, it'll probably still be snowing there, Jared. Well, thank you. The festival was good. You know what? For Jared, I'm going to pull up a picture here. There's more maids. I think they're getting off of work, don't you? I think they're finishing with work. And that, that that's their get up but I gotta be honest with you it's not really something I understand well Jonathan's is always they got robots at the Jonathan's it's kind of neat Leo wants to go there even though the food is eh, they get robots in there that come to serve you so the revolution has started a lot of people are, are uh, <clears throat> losing jobs that weren't being filled anyway because nobody was wanted to be hired in these jobs, filling them with robots that can do a pretty good job. This is kind of new. Yeah, Ikebukuro, this is interesting here. Ikebukuro is, is getting a reputation as being one of the new Akihabara. There's a lot of, um, or at least I think there's one really big figures store or hobby store that it just makes it, I think it's more navigable and more fun than Akihabara. But I can understand why Akihabara is attractive. It's got a brand, you know, it's really strong. Ikebukuro's brand is not, it's not really as established. We just think of otaku, manga, anime, video games. It's Akihabara. But over the last, over the pandemic, without the tourists coming here, I don't think that the, uh, I don't think that Akihabara really did, uh, did well. But people live in this area. Not a lot of people live in Akihabara, but people live in this area. So, and it's a big hub. So it, it seems to have done pretty good. But the identity of, Aki, of Ikebukuro to non-Japanese is not as strong as Akihabara, the Toshima Civic Center. So I'm sure they have um, performances and concerts. You know, this is also a place of art. The Metropolitan uh, Hall on the other side, Kanai has danced there. I think it's called the Dollhouse. Um, stage. I, I can't remember. There's a Toho Cinema over there to see movies. That's interesting. I haven't done that in years. There's another hall. So a lot of art performances are held here. Okay, yeah, this is the place. So maybe because you're seeing like maids here, perhaps this, uh, this uh, anime culture is really translating well to Ikebukuro. Check it out. Annie Mate. I, I remember walking past this shop and, and some people were telling me about it. This is sort of the new, new thing. Ikebukuro's, um, was, I mean, I, I don't know. I didn't have the, the feeling that Ikebukuro was like an anime, like a, one of those uh, otaku towns, right? But it kind of is. I guess this is a place where you can buy figures and, and uh, hobby stuff. And here's some gacha pon that's not really interesting to me. <laughs> I don't know a lot about it. I'm not a huge um, manga or anime fan, but they have got a lot of stuff in here. Studio Ghibli stuff, wow. They're adding so many new things. The this, this Studio Ghibli seems to be expanding a great deal right now. Right, there's a there's the park in Nagoya, amusement park. It looks really interesting. That's one of the places I have to take Leo and Kanai one of these days. Uh, let's go. Trying to see, trying to recall which direction. Let's go this way.
There's karaoke above here. This is just in that in the space where I showed you on that Google Earth map. Super interesting area. The best time to come to Ikebukuro, again, we saw that the Shakey's had that $10 all-you-can-eat lunch and pasta deal, great for families. But I think, you know, if you're coming here for dinner, this is a good place to go out drinking, get, get some beers, um, have entertainment, but it's more authentic than, than sh I, I think it's more authentic than Shibuya. I don't know what that means. It just feels like the people are more authentic. There's more, let me put it like this, okay. There's more locals here. So it feels authentic. There you go. Yeah. Shibuya is kind of like, I don't know, everybody's there. It's just, it's too big and it's really touristy. Hikibukuro is, is never really touristy. I never felt like it was a touristy place. It's a livable place. They do have their, um, what do you call them? The uh, Sakura fraps. It's got like a bazillion calories. I think all of it is sugar, but it looks good. Looks good. I do like these, like uh, the streets have these uh, little parks where you can sit down. And these are kind of, you see these bars here, they're kind of leaning seats. So you can lean up against them, eat a bento or something, take out, have a crepe which is a pocket pizza. Wow, that looks good. Oh, cha. Eh? Oh, naka ga sweet ne. This is atarashi mise. Oh, it's open shita ne. Shigatsu. Shigatsu. Kyone. Oh. Subarashi koko ni chimon shite taberu koko desho. Tabeta hoga <laughs> I'm not hungry. Hi, guys. Yamata came out today. Nani, nani? Halal. Oh, it's, they, you, oh, you have halal. Oh, so they got you. Oh, it's awesome. Arigato. Yeah. Ah, in Ikebukuro. Yeah. Okay, mata kimas. Well, that's very nice. I really don't want to eat. It's it's like fast food. I mean, it's okay. I'm not hungry for that though. I just want a freaking steak. <laughs> I'm not hungry for that. But it looks good. I was surprised they have halal, and that's good. It's, it looks like it's a foreign-owned business. So check it out. It's good. Always meeting new people. Happy to if he's a small business owner and he's got a pretty good spot. Did you see that place? I should go back and ask ask him how he got the place, but I don't know if it's his. It seems like I asked him when he opened it and he paused. It's like what? How do you not know right 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 away? But I'm sure it's uh, gonna get a little bit of extra business. Why not? This is the iPhone 15 Pro. I don't know, what's, what's the deal with this titanium anyways? I don't see why it's any, any stronger. The war is on. Which one do you use? I stopped getting new phones every year a couple of years ago. All right, we're walking down the main street again. We, we started the live stream down here. There's the round one on the right side. I'm going to walk over to Ikebukuro Station now. If you have any questions, please, I'm looking at the chat right now. I will hit you up with an answer if you write something good that, you know, that people want to know about. Now, this coffee, used to be able, you, could, you couldn't find this coffee in Tokyo, only up in like Ibaraki and, and this Max Coffee. It is, it, I used to like it, but I don't anymore. It's too sweet. They put a lot of milk and sugar in it, but it really is interesting. It's made by Coca-Cola Company. I used to drink that 25 years ago because I used to live in Mito and Iwaki and I could only find it in Tochigi. I could only find it in that area. And now you can find it just about any, what? So you can do a uh, UFO catcher, I guess, to try to get one of these me mega sharks or alligators. What? That certainly got my, caught my attention. 
but the gigo seems to be seems to be pretty quiet. I wonder if anyone is going into into these game centers anymore. Huh. All right, let's go back to the alley. We shouldn't go back the way we came. What camera are you using right now? This is the iPhone 14 uh, Pro, I, I believe, with about two gigs of, of memory left in a one terabyte phone. <laughs> like, I gotta delete this stuff. Marion Crepes that was founded in Harajuku has a branch here that's uh, op open, okay. Oh, I know the president of this company, the Treasure Box Vending Machines. He, re he, re he reconditioned um, book vending machines from the 1980s, painted them up, and then he put all these objects in there, mystery boxes. And then there's, uh, what is that, uh, 16 different boxes. He refills them all the time. I remember it, catching him. And then every time I go by, he, come, he comes in a station wagon refilling them. And he's like, John Sung. And I go, hey. I, I kind of forgot his name. I have his business card. It's been about five years since I saw him. No, no, I, no, just right before the pandemic. Yeah, it seems like four years ago, wow. This job, you get to meet so many interesting people. Let's see, you know what, for Jared, let me see if I can, Jared, I can pull up some, a uh, couple of photos I have from uh, um, the festival. I, I added some of these to Instagram. So you can see it was really snowing pretty hard a couple of days ago. You can see this is me praying in, uh, in water. That's me on the, uh, the closest to the camera. The water was, I think it was one degree Celsius. It was basically freezing. It's as cold as it can be without turning to ice. But uh, yeah, I was not, you know, feeling wonderful. This was after, I got pretty serious. Uh, a lot of people in there. We, we, were, we were just going around this uh, local moco train <laughs> saying Sanyo, Sanyo. And uh, I don't know, it's kind of therapeutic. It was a really calming uh, thing to do. I just kept just saying, the, the chanting the same thing. And we were all walking around in a circle. Oh, this is me after I got out of the bath. You can see uh, I'm, I'm somewhat in pain. I, was, I think I was screaming. I don't, I don't think I'd been this cold uh, since the last time I did a Naked Man Festival. <laughs> but you know when you do come to Japan you have to do stuff it doesn't have to be that and by the way I, I asked are you gonna have women doing this and he said yeah in the future we intend to have uh, women coming to do this they have a brown outfit that I, I've seen the other ones where they have brown outfits because the numbers are de declining in these traditional festivals Here's the Mr. Donuts. I've been here a couple of times with Jennifer, I remember in the past. They have their Sakura Donuts right now too. They're so good. You can see them up there. They, you know what they're doing? The, the campaign that they have is really unique. They've got four different Sakura Donuts. One, um, like 0%, 25%, 50%, 75% and 100% or something like that. Or is it 20, it's, they started 25% Sakura to fully bloomed and then to the um, petals falling off, and they look kind of like that with the fully bloomed one. So that's kind of a, a neat way to do it this year. There's so many different cherry blossom foods. Oh, and anybody who's a Patreon supporter, the, the Daimyo package this month will be cherry blossom Sakura themed, so I'll be sending you lots of confections that have uh, that Sakura and um, a little bit of matcha sometimes because this is the season for the matcha desserts in them. and. Uh, yeah, I'll be sending them out uh, probably about 10 days from now, so please uh, join and you'll get a postcard as well. Help to support the channel. Hey, the JVlog is here. Thank you. Welcome. I'm scrolling down here. Weird question. Never found anyone who could answer. Worried about... I just went, your, your question went away. Hold on a second. Worried about running or losing my shoes. I wear size 17 to 19. Holy smokes. Yeah, Japan does it in centimeters, not, not size. Like, do you know of shops with really large shoes? Um, 
All right, the sumo wrestlers have usually feet around the same size. So, Ryogoku, there's a shop called Lion's Doe, and not only do they have like large shoes, but they have large underwear, large t-shirts. Uh, you may want to check there. Uh, Shinjuku has a big and tall shop, and I believe that there was one, there used to be one in Aoyama, but if you just search Tokyo big and tall, you'll find a bunch of shops. Um, I forget the name of, uh, also there's amazon.co.jp. They pretty much have everything. You can try to, try to uh, search on there and have it sent to your hotel. That's another thing. I can, get, I can find just about anything on Amazon now, so if you send it, send it to your hotel, you'll be fine. And usually in Japan, if you're in Tokyo, it, can, it sometimes will come the same day if you order in the morning. It'll be there in the evening. All right, here's the, here's the other main street, and we're gonna wrap around from here. I'm curious to see what has changed as we, I, I finish this up at Ikebukuro Station. What an adventure. Hidden City, that's a, like a beer garden with, with a beer food. They have some decent, uh, decent lunches, but not a lot of people eat the lunches there. Yeah, it's very interesting. The menu always changes too. There's a ramen place over there. Ikebukuro Shoten. Wow. Is that the jewelry shop? And uh, a lady has just bought, bought the jewelry and the store clerk was standing with the door open in a very polite position until she turned the corner. I, I noticed this. And then she bowed after the client turned the corner and then she went back into the shop. So she was waiting outside for about 30 seconds. This looks like, is this a Hakata uh, ramen? A lot of ramen places. There's a good old Fuji soba, which is 24 hours a day. You can get some good uh, soul food of Japan. Soba, katsudon, curry rice, sets for 580 yen, I think it was. So it doesn't look like it's changed too much. There's the parko in the distance, and we're going to be walking towards that area. There's the Yamada Denki and the big camera. So that those are still there. Let's cross the street and we'll walk along there. Back here and on the other side, there's an entertainment district on the other side of the, of the tracks. I'll show you where you can go to get there real quickly. It's more vibrant at night. A lot of yakiniku places here. Ikebukuro, that side is very famous for the yakiniku restaurants. There must be about uh, I don't know, like 20 or 30 of them on the other side. I never counted. I went to a couple of them after work with uh, other English teachers back in the day. We didn't make that much money to go and spend for yakiniku. I mean, yakiniku can be a little pricey. English teachers are somewhat frugal. We were more there to save money. There's the station. We're not going that way. Let's walk down the alleys. It's always more interesting. Or is it? It's kind of an adult area. There's a grilled, grilled meat, barbecue burger place, more ramen. Ramen lunch with gyoza, oh man. That looks pretty good. The weather's nice today. It's not gonna be for the rest of the week though. This, so that's another reason to get out and do something like this today. 
So you can see here, hane age. Age meaning like a deep fried stuff. There's a pachinko parlor, of course. We're kind of in a seedier area near the rail tracks. At night, you know, it's, it, Japan is pretty safe. You don't have anything to worry about. Here's a love hotel. And you can see day use, right? So you can rent a room for, for like uh, $17 for an hour. I think I would need at least 90 minutes. Or if you come in after uh, 7 p.m. Wow, that's really cheap. You could stay here for 6,000 yen or about $40. What? And if you check in after, if you check in two hours later, it's even cheaper. It's 4,400 yen. Oh my gosh. All right, I don't, that was odd. I didn't want to record, there's somebody coming out, so I turned the camera away, but she looked like a high school kid. <laughs> a little, a little, a little creepy. People are entitled to privacy, but like, I saw that. I was like, all right, I'm just gonna keep it to myself. It's not my business. She looked a little too young. It's always smart, Let don't leave together. Somebody older just left. It's not my business. I don't know. <laughs> this was a little surprising. I hope that wasn't his, her teacher. That's kind of, it's just slightly creepy. All right, right here behind the station, uh, there's an underground passageway that'll take you to the other side. And these buildings over here, you can see there's a Don Quixote right there. This is, there's a lot of entertainment uh, restaurants back here on this other side, if you can't find what you're looking for on this side. Um, that's more of a tra the traditional entertainment kind of a place. That's a big Don Quixote. Do you see that? And here's the um, uh, Itoen truck. I'm trying to find that as a Tommy car for Leo. Tomi car, like matchbox cars. This is also very Ikebukuro. Do you see this? I believe this is where they burn the garbage for Toshima Ward. So it looks like a, a big smokestack. You could, it's also something kind of like a, mark, a marker. So when you always look up in the sky, you can see that. Um, that's some, if I get really lost, I just look up at that and I know if I go towards that, you can get to the station. <clears throat> All right, that Ringo apple pie shop used to be here. Wow, that looks like a pair of uh, original Jordans. I remember back in the 80s, a lot of kids had that uh, at the school I went to. And some kids would, would, would use a marker and paint there. Oh no, here's the place to go under, I think. I'm a little lost myself. Yeah, a lot of kids would take markers and then make their own Jordans with Converse and stuff. <laughs> I remember that was way... Oh, we're talking like mid-1980s or something. Yeah, this is the way. Uh, v Road, I think it's called. It'll take you under the tracks to the other side without going through the maze of station. Oh yeah, the Ringo Apple Pie Place is still here for those that are interested. Japanese people look a lot younger than you think. She's wearing a high school uniform. And it wasn't cosplay. You can tell, usually. Because I just made an episode on Japanese school uniforms. That was definitely a, a real uniform. Um, oh yeah, so a lot of, I, was she wearing that because of the uh, Hina Matsuri? No, because the th girls at age three, they, had, they celebrate the Hina Matsuri going to the shrine, I believe. I don't know too much about it, but 
this cake place looks really good. Right next to the Ringo apple pie shop. There's a Caldi in the basement there. Wow. Yuki Fukudo is the place for sugar. Oh, there's so much junk food and, and sweets in the basement here under the station. It's pretty crazy. Uh, the one place that I do used to go to before the pandemic a lot was that beer garden on the top of the Cebu department store. I don't even know if they still do that, but probably this year I might make a couple of stops in there, although I rarely drink alcohol these days. I did have some a couple days ago after the festival, but you have no choice because the old timers are putting it in front of you. You have no choice. And they're not even participating. This place, Truffle, is, is a bakery. It's so popular. Um, if you do, you're kind of curious about it. They make really good bread. I stopped eating bread. I've got an awful diet. It's just not fun anymore. We often meet in front of the hand statue here. And this is Ike Bakuro's east entrance. And then boom, that's it. We're back at this, well, not sort of back, but I'm at the station. So Ike Bakuro Station, very busy. One of the big hubs of Tokyo and certainly a place that's worthy of your time if you've never been to here, definitely. You're gonna wanna put it onto your uh, itinerary, spend an afternoon walking around. Look at the smoking area in the center, wow. Tokyo's done a pretty good job of banning smoking in some of the wards. Chua Ward is where I live, central city. No smoking allowed walking around the streets. There's some smoking areas, but Ginza has banned it. So you get a 3,000 yen fine, I believe, if they catch you. There you go. All right, this is the part where you write in, where are you from? Where are you watching from? Uh, I'm always happy to take your questions. I didn't, I didn't catch more than a few of them. Was walking home from the convenience the other day. Someone was grilling steak on the balcony. That's a big no-no, but at the same time, I do it too sometimes. I take a fan and I blow it out so they can't really find me. But if, you, if they see you, sometimes you're not allowed to have open fires. It depends on where you live as well. I never understood that. I like a good barbecue. I guess because the smoke gets into your neighbor's houses and stuff and they don't want that. People live quite close. I've tried the pies before. They're good. Trust me on that. Seeing me with dripping sauce down my face, it's not the greatest of looks here. John, you missed my joke. Well, if you say that, you have to copy paste it again. Things can get lost in here. <laughs> what was the joke? Watching from Los Angeles. Hey, okay. Home of Shohei Otani, who got married recently. Just a little side note. Everybody loves Shohei Otani, most humble guy, but he does not know the United States at all. He thinks he can hide his marriage and not talk about his wife. The best thing to do is to talk about it, answer all the questions of the media, get it out of the way, and then people will leave you alone. The more he drags this out, the more the media is just gonna get all over him. It's not the Japanese media, all right? He doesn't have the same rights as he has in Japan. Just like when you come to Japan, you don't have the same rights as you do in the United States. The media is gonna all over this. He, Johei Otani said he got married a, a few days ago. The guy's almost a billionaire. I. Otani-san, onegaishimasu. Naka chanto tsuwa ni shokaishite kudasai ne. Tsuwas. Watashitachi ni shokaishite kudasai. Really. And get it out of the way. It's just gonna be, it's gonna be something that's gonna, trust me. I know both, I know the way the U.S. works too. And it's, it's pretty crazy. Just let them, let it out. Transparency. I like this area. I like it better than, than Shibuya, uh, Shinjuku, and Harajuku. It's chill. It's got a, everything else that you need. It's got more authenticity because I think people live around here. People, locals are here. And you feel that. And I think that that makes it, should be one of the top places on your itinerary. Do we have a plan to do a live stream with Peter? We do. Actually, he's not that far away from me. He's at the... Uh, Old Lady Harajuku at uh, Sugamo, I believe, today. 
But I got to get back and edit, and I was here for the cemetery. We just didn't meet up today. But I, I told Peter we got to do something because it's been too long. And he said, okay. So well, maybe later this week, although the weather's not good. But uh, for those that are waiting for Peter, no, we didn't have a falling out. He's just been extremely busy, as have I, traveling around. Uh, we just have not been able. I, we did have lunch together, but we don't like, when we meet, hang out, we don't want to live stream all the time together. I went out and we had a pizza and, a, and a, he bought me pizza for my birthday and we had a couple of beers. There's, there's nothing going on there. It's okay. He's doing well. He's a good guy. Check out his channel, Peter, Peter Von Gom in Japan. Um, he's a Only in Japan title call for the main channel. I've known him for decades, seems like, so. Thanks for your concern, everybody. Just looking through a phone booth that's now extinct. All right, everybody, have a good day, have a good night. I'll see you in another live stream probably tomorrow as I take you to another area of Tokyo, and then I'll see if I can get out to the countryside. We do intend to take Leo to uh, Tokyo Disneyland for his birthday, so maybe I'll see some of you in the park in a couple of weeks. But until then, have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you in the next live stream. Matane! Wow, big bus.